you know, <laughs> I used to think that people were just fucking with me. I, I really did. Because I kept hearing people say, whenever I was really, really wanting something to happen in my life, don't get attached to a result. And I'd go, what do you mean, don't get attached to a result? Why would I be going after this thing that I want? Why would I be working this hard if I'm not going to, like, want this result that's supposed to result from all of my hard work? I want the result. What is wrong with wanting a result? Now I understand that there's nothing wrong with wanting a result. There's nothing wrong with goals. There's really nothing wrong with even getting attached to a result. I'd like to reframe wrong more so in the context of what serves you. And the more and more I started reframing it in that context, I realized that it wasn't serving me to get attached to a result. Now when I'm thinking of attached to a result, I'm thinking of like clinging, like it, it has to be this certain way, and if it doesn't happen this way, it's wrong. A lot of us are attached to results without even realizing that that's the way we're operating. I think the place where I've seen it show up the most has been in relationships. Um, having a conversation with someone in which you feel you're putting forth a, purpose, per a perfectly reasonable solution to a problem and they're having none of it and then getting really upset and going, I just proposed a really good idea and you don't want to have anything of it. And it's like, stop, breathe. That's attachment to a result. That's getting on the phone with someone and being attached to the idea that they're going to agree with what you think is the right solution. Wherever possible, I try to get rid of right-wrong dynamics in my life as soon as I notice them appearing because not only does right-wrong play in with triggering the inner critic who's always looking for a way to categorize the world as black and white rather than seeing it as shades of gray, very reactive, very little kid view of the way the world works, right? Um, it's, it's also because this question of what serves me opens up so much more permissiveness. It's like, it's an expansive question. And it's also helpful in terms of noticing where I'm getting attached to a result. Because the point isn't whether or not I'm right or wrong. I might actually be proposing a solution that would work really well for someone. And it actually might be in everyone's best interest for that person to take on that solution. But if I'm attached to a result, um, and I'm not noticing whether or not that serves me, I'm going to suffer. If they don't agree, if things don't go the way I want them to go, I'm going to suffer. And I'd like to reduce the amount of suffering that I have in the world. And also just keeping in mind that, you know, my way is not always the best way. I mean, it's a very humbling practice to take on in many ways. It's full of compassion. It's full of allowance for what other people need. And, and I fully believe that um, there's a lot of value, and I'm going to encourage you into, when you know something that is absolutely within your core values, it's a match for you, it's part of your life vision, you're in integrity with it, stick to it. I'm not suggesting this namby-pamby backing down just because someone else disagrees. And um, I'm, I'm more so suggesting this idea that when there's, wherever there's rigidity, wherever there's a should, there is stuckness. So this is your divine opportunity to start noticing any places where you are attached to a result. Maybe you're attached to a result with this program. Maybe you're attached to a result with your partner. Maybe you're attached to a result with the way the economy is supposed to go. Step into this practice of being your journey and accepting what is. And finally, add should to your list of words that are powerless or limiting. Um, those words include things like can't, I don't know, never, have to, had to. They're all victim -y words. Should is another one. Nobody likes it when someone is shoulding all over them. And I would hope you aren't living your life shoulding all over yourself. The should's not powerful. I mean, it just sets up all this obligation and putting your power externally. Letting go of the should's. Life should not have or should have worked out a certain way. No, not serving you at all. Life worked out the way it worked out. Life is what it is, and life will be the way it will be. What you have control over is where you put your intention and your attention around all of that.